Is service on the go really a way to earn up to $45 per survey as they claim inside the app, or is it a waste of time? My name is Michael, and I have tested hundreds of different service sites and apps, and many viewers have asked me about this, so therefore, I decided to record this service on the go review, where I give you an inside look and explain both the pros and the cons, so you know exactly what to expect and if it is the right opportunity for you or not. So let's start by going over who can join because service on the go is an app so you do need a phone to be able to use it and you can download it both through the app store and through the google play store so it is available for both ios devices and for android devices however they do not say anything on the website about the countries it's available in so i've not been able to find out exactly which countries it's available in but i can tell you for sure that it's not available in a lot of different countries but Unfortunately, I cannot say more about it than that. So you would need to go there to the App Store or Google Play Store from your country if you decide to use it after watching this video and then see if it's available. If it's available, you can join and start earning. If not, then it's not available in your country yet. Just please feel free to share in a comment below if you have tried to download it, which country you are from and if it is available or not. But let me now then pull the app up on the screen and give you an inside look so you can see exactly what to expect. But before doing that, I just also want to remind you that if you do like my content and want more of it and exclusive content, and all kind of other private help from me and support, then I have now a Patreon community where you can get access to that. I will leave a link to that below so you can also check that out if you're interested. But let me now log in and show you how this app works. So I have now logged into service on the go and it is very user friendly because you can just very easily find out how to use it. You can see I have the service tab, that's the main tab, and right now there are no service available. And that is how it is in most cases right after you join, because there are some things you need to do to get access to the service, because it is quite unusual for a survey app. Usually you just join and then you will get different surveys, regularly get notifications about it. But on service on the go, you need to do some extra things before you will actually start seeing regular surveys. And to do that, you need to go to your profile. So let me just explain a little bit more about what you need to do so you can find out if it's actually something you feel safe about doing. So to get access to surveys, you have to be lucky if you do not do this, but you might find once in a while. But to get access to the most paid service, you need to turn on a couple of different offers or options inside the app. You go to the profile, you can here see something called location services, and you need to enable that. And that means that it will track where you are, and then sometimes you will get surveys based on your location. It can, for example, be about shops you've just visited or something like that. Another option is what they call digital surveys, where they will track your app and web activity. Of course, this will be anonymous, so it's not that they find out what you personally are doing or anything like that. This is used for market research, to see how people are using their phones and the apps and using the internet in general. And you need to share this to get access to more digital service. Uh, personally, I know, for example, like uh, Nielsen, I'll leave a link in the top corner I have about that, where you can get paid for actually sharing some activities like this. Here, you do not as such get paid for it. You will potentially qualify for surveys that you will get paid for. So it's kind of an extra step. But these are options you need to enable to be able to start earning on service on the go. And I know not all are feeling comfortable about that. And that is something you need to decide for yourself whether you do or not. But this isn't a requirement to get any of the higher paying service inside service on the go. So that is something you need to be aware of and you need to consider. But how much can you then earn? We of course also need to talk about that and then also how you can get paid. So let's start by going over how much you can earn and then the payout methods. So inside the app, after joining, I got a notification where it says I can earn $5 to $45 per survey. And that's like, that's hard to get $45 for a survey. I have taken thousands of online surveys and 
I have never actually been able to get 45 for a survey. I've been able to get that for participating in some kind of user test. I also have a video about the best user testing platforms. I will leave a link in the top corner for that. But for surveys, I would say like theoretically, yeah, maybe once in a while you will get access to that. But you have to be aware that that will be very rare. So even though they say that, remember that it's up to. And usually when any platform mentions up to, then it means that that amount is something you very rarely will get access to. So in general, a few dollars for a survey, you have to be lucky to get that. That's the more the norm for getting paid. But in general, it does pay quite high for the surveys that you take. But it also comes with a price because you do need to ac- give them access to your location to track that and to give access to, for example, track your web activity, whereas many other survey apps. I also have a video about my top recommended options of those. I'm leaving in the top corner there. You do not have to give them access to that. They might pay a little bit less for some of the surveys, but then you do not share all that. So which options are best for you? That really depends on your personal preferences. But let's now then go over the payout options because that's of course also important to know. So the payout options inside Service on the Go are actually quite good in my opinion. You can see you can get paid via Amazon.com gift cards, Visa cards, Starbucks gift cards and PayPal. That's at least the rewards that are available at the time of recording this video. You need to earn a minimum of $10 to be able to cash out. So the payout threshold is also not too high. And I do like that they offer both gift cards or options for cash. So overall, I have only good things to say about the payout methods. They are great. They are quite flexible. And also the payout threshold is not too high. So to sum it all up, Service on the Go is a legit app where you can earn by taking paid service. And it does pay quite decently for the service and it has some good payout options. But to get access to the higher paying service, you do need to feel comfortable about turning on your location so they can track that and also to let them track your app and web activity. If you do not feel comfortable about that, then this app is not for you because then you will basically not get access to any paid surveys. I will leave a link below to more information both about service on the go so you can check that out and also to my top recommended survey apps so you can go for those instead if you feel more comfortable about that but no matter what i hope this video helped you and if it did then make sure to hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out next time to see video with tips and tricks about different ways to make some extra money on the side online